I am going to create a new account. Um, this is going to be uh, fun. When you are creating a new account, you guys, make sure you uh, have all of your current accounts linked to an email. I'm going to show you how to link this new account that I'm uh, creating to an email. Um, and once you link that account to the email, you can then go through your logins. Uh, when you click account, you can switch accounts and click yes. Down at the bottom at, of this page, there is the start new game button, right? I already have all of my accounts linked uh, to emails through here, but I am starting a brand new account. So this is going to be a very long video. Are you sure you want to start a new game? Yes. All right. This is going to be boring as all get out because I am going to go through the motions and I'm going to take the time. We're going to hear the everything. Hi, Annika. Thank God you're back. Boss, finally. Daly's gang gave us a real hard time while we were gone. While you were gone. Even though I've, I've created 11 accounts, Daly's gang comes again. There are so many of them. We can't hold much longer. A call for backups. Makes me laugh because uh, when you follow the motions, just do what you need to do. I'm just, I'm, I'm literally just going to uh, build and start the new account. I'm just going to go through the motions, do what they tell me to do. Um, it, it makes me laugh because I know that whoever created this game is going to from uh, speaking place for some of the verbiage is not well written English. I'm not the best at English. That I'm not so good at my English either. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, boss. We didn't manage to catch daily. Blah, blah, blah. I wish that the developers would allow when you start a new game um, to click if this, if you've already gone through the tutorial, that you can skip the tutorial. I really wish that that was an option. But it's not so. You just have to go through it every single time you create a new account. Um, I'm certain that he will be back with more troops next time. We must be ready by then. Let's build some more forces. All right. It's kind of nice to see this again. Boss, I have drafted a development plan based on your instructions. Go. Our town has badly destroyed in the battle. Let's start to rebuild it with a cabin. All right, let's build a cabin. Thank you, boss. Now our people are sheltered from the danger. Let's collect. Tap to go. Now let's build a farm to provide food for our town. All right, I'm going to put the farm here. This is eventually going to be another wood farm for me. So I will be moving that eventually. Collect. Uh, let's upgrade the town center to improve overall whatever. All right. Even though it's going to take seven minutes, it's going to be free. Yay, I upgraded my town center. Terrific. Our town center has reached level two. You have received a gift pack from your town folk. Let's check it out. By clicking items, use, collect. I do have to say, I am... I am studying animation right now, and this game has some really awesome animations that they've implemented into the game. Although I am a bit of a stickler, and uh, there are some things, like this version of this girl is very well am anim animated, but the one that you see regularly in the game is not uh, my favorite. Um, I posted a video of the game uh, trick to this card game, so please refer to that so that you can uh, see where 
where those are. Because uh, when you're doing the tutorial at the beginning, uh, you can't use the card trick game because it's just the card trick in the game um, during the tutorial because it simply is just showing you how to play it. So we'll just go through the motions here. Da, da, da. Uh, I'm kind of wondering what state they put me in. It would be really kind of funny to just keep this in one of the newer states to see what it is. All right. I never realized how good you are at these card games. Thank you for letting me win. Uh, I, I think some of the things that they have her say is just super condescending. And I'm, I'm not a big fan of her, but that's just my opinion. Boss, let's continue developing our town based on our plan. Let's go, Annika. All right, so this is going to pop up alliance invitations. If you aren't part of an alliance, feel free to join whatever um, one you have. I am not going to join an alliance, so I'm going to click details, and it's just going to take me to whatever alliance they have, but then um, there's no description in this alliance, so I'm just going to push home because I don't want to join an alliance. But during this whole tutorial, it is going to have those pop-ups a lot. Uh, I'm going to go through the motions and build the town. And then I'm going to trans transport it to where I want it to be in my new um, alliance. Free. Collect. Go. Boss. Stone is equally important in the town development. It's time to build a quarry. Let's build a quarry. Build, build, free. All right, go. The iron production is also fundamental to uh, build a town. So we're gonna build quarry. Super simple. Build, okay. Uh, go to warehouse. We're going to build a warehouse. Build. Build. Uh, because I would like to have my town set up the way it, I have it set up, I am will be moving the warehouse, but not immediately because I simply don't have enough gold. Let's build the academy. I wish that I would have not changed where the academy and other town... Um, some of the buildings in the town are placed because there is simply um, a good thing about having them all in the same place in every account that I have. So that is something that I have not uh, switched around. So let's do some research. All right. Uh, something that I miss about the tutorial when you first start the game is some of these great animations they have. Um, they don't have them in the game throughout, so. All right. Let's build a hospital. Hospital. Free. Build. Go. We should always be watchful, so let's do a sentry station. Build. Free. Complete. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm clicking on this uh, tutorial thing. When they have pop up, I can still see them behind it. Boss, it's time to build the defense factory. Let's build the defense factory. Build. Free. Build. Go. Now we're going to build a blacksmith. Build. Build. Free. Build. All right. Go. Blacksmith. Going to upgrade. First upgrade. Super duper. Collect. Let's build a barrack. Or no, let's upgrade a barrack. We're going to upgrade our barrack. Uh, for those of you, I have failed to mention this in previous videos. But when your building is available to upgrade, you will see the little green arrow. 
right there next to the town. Do you see that? That means that it's available to be upgraded. Um, see the hospital has one, but the blacksmith doesn't have one right now because it's at the highest level to be upgraded at this moment. So let's build a defense. Let's upgrade our defense factory. Sorry, I'm not reading it very well, am I? So we're gonna upgrade our town center now. Woo woo! Okay, wonderful. Our town will be uh, the new beacon in Frontier. So this is gonna show us how to do speed ups. Super duper, loving the speed ups. All right, so your frame is growing. Some gunslingers are here to challenge you. Let's go show them the real deal. Uh, I actually like the Duel for Glory. It's super fun. Ooh, this guy's new. I have never once forgotten how you gave me this scar, but this time things will be different. Dun, dun, dun. Click. Die. Bang. Yeah. Boom. Pew. 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 I don't know why that's so satisfying. It only is like that the very first time when you first do it because then you have to do it once every day. So it is what it is. <laughs> I don't I don't go in and do it very often, but I do like the duel for glory. I don't know why. Maybe it's the the gun the blood splatter across the screen like when the outlaws die. Alright, command center enables us to send troops to explore the world. So let's build the command center. Free? All right. Town quest completed. Build an embassy. Let's build the embassy. All right. The market. So for my farms, as I said in one of my other videos, my high performance building the market up is very important when you have a farm because that is what is in charge of transporting your your first transports so something that i forgot to mention is that you cannot transport until you're at least tc10 so i won't be able to do any transports until i build this account up to tc 10 so you can't you you can build up your resources you can constantly be building but you will not be able to transport out from any farm that you have until you are town center 10. i repeated that three times because it's very important i have people ask why can't i transport to anyone because you're not tc 10 yet but it's very easy to grow your town to tc 10. You can actually do it very quickly um, by ignoring upgrading a lot of your buildings and just upgrading the buildings that need to be upgraded and then you can catch it up uh, later, which I have done for a couple of my farms just so I can start um, uh, transporting. So I'm just going through the motions right now. Um, There are different quests every day. Complete these quests and claim various rewards. I'm kind of skipping some of these. I'm sorry, guys. We're going to build a warehouse. Upgrade the warehouse. Because we already built it earlier. Alright, building completed. We're going to upgrade the barrack. I uh, find it interesting that at earlier levels you can upgrade... Um, some of the buildings higher than the town center level is, which I think is really interesting. And when it does these tutorials with the gold boxes and the arrows, doesn't matter where you click on the screen. Uh, I just clicked it in the middle there. <laughs> Didn't even click where the box is. It doesn't matter where you click because it, it's, it's only going to recognize you clicked the screen. So you have no option to do that anywhere else. 
It's gonna it's gonna take you where it's gonna take you because you're in the tutorial mode. Boss, remember that guy Bog Bob from your old gang? Well actually I don't because I've never played this game. Just kidding. He has sent us some supplies to support us. Let's go check him out. Check it out. Upgrade the defense factory. Let's upgrade our town center. Okay, so what do I need to upgrade my town center? Thirty-three more seconds. Okay. So it looks like we're at we're at a point that we can actually go through um, go through some of the items that you need to do whenever you are a new town. So when you're in a quest, it gives you a recommended quest at the very top. Upgrade town center to level four. You can on the far right side click the um, grid right there and it'll tell you what you will get when you upgrade to town center four, what the reward will be. So I've done all of these. I'm going to collect those and underneath it, it says the recommended requests, what you can do. Build three barracks, build three hospitals, build four farms, four logging. Uh, build four quarries, research, all of these you can do, okay? I am not going to have a lot of troops, so this is where I'm going to deviate from the new town. Um, I'm going to, uh, first of all, switch my name by going to where my force is. Um, I have this profile picture of the girl and I kind of like that they have it set up for her, so I'm going to leave that. But underneath where it says level 9, and it has cowboy 8OIUN, um, uh, that's the name of your town. I'm going to change it. I already know that this is going to be another one of my wood accounts, so I'm going to change it to KG. Fold. And this is going to be my third one. So that they give you a name change there. Uh, if you wanted to change your avatar, you click on the profile picture. So right now it's the um, Indian girl. So I'll click on her. And you can see what's already selected has been checked. Or you can select any of these free ones. I like this one um, and then you have the avatar frame you can actually get those later uh, but I, I like her so I'm not going to change it um, and then I'm going to change my town name um, to let's call it Paperville 3 change that as well okay all right Another thing that I like to do is turn off the notifications, but this is just something that I like to do. I have a lot of accounts, so I just like to turn all of the no notifications off. Um, I have an alarm set to shield my accounts, so I don't care about any of these. All right? All right. So let's click free there. I'm also going to go back and... Uh, turn off, where is it at, um, settings, uh, I, because it already recognizes I have a game, I turned off the background music, turn off the sound effects, I, uh, displays recommended tasks in the town view, I am turning that off, because that is those things that are popping up. I do have on translates other languages to my default language, because that is very helpful, if you are from a different country, this is where you will select to change your language. And what's great is they have at least uh, six different languages that you can choose. I wish that they had more, 
Um, I speak Korean, so it's kind of funny whenever you are in the chat box and it actually shares with you uh, different, different uh, <laughs> um, translations. And it uh, says that one is from Korean. Um, so let's see where we are at. We are in state 65. Do you see how I see that? In the very middle, the bottom right above the icon that says more, it says S65. And my coordinates that I'm at is 92 um, and y-axis 206. So we're in state 65. Wow, cool. Let's explore this state a little bit. Uh, so there I am. I'm at uh, level three. Woo woo. All right. So I'm going to click on this. Let's go look. No one has... Uh, no one has taken any of the buildings, so let's, let's go check the main government building in 65. Let's explore a little bit. Do they have any big alliances yet? Probably not. You know what? No, we're not going to explore anymore. But you can see where my town is whenever I click on the state map view. Oh, state map overview. It's way up here in the corner. And there's all these different buildings around. But it looks like the state is so new that it hasn't even, um, no one's even tried to occupy any of the, the towns. So when you are a new town and you've just started, you can actually um, move your town uh, to a new state, but you only have a few days to do that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is click the search glass on the upper right-hand corner, and it's going to pop up the coordinates box. Okay? And you can actually type in the coordinates of where you want to go. So S is state. So my, my current state that all my accounts are in is state 20. Um, but what I'm going to do is, is, I don't know the coordinates. I don't have them on the top of my head. I could open up my iPad and go in and see the coordinates, but I'm going to show you another way that uh, I do it. Click on the world uh, icon at the top right-hand corner, and I'm going to go search for State 20. Um, oh, whoops. Bay is what we're called. There we are. We've been in existence for one year and 12 days. We hit our year, year mark. So I'm going to enter the state. It's going to take me to the state view. Um, and you see it's kind of cloudy. It's because I am not um, occupying a space in this state. So I'm going to click on the main state map overview and i know where our town is so i'm going to click about where it's at and i'm going to be able to find our hopefully uh, find our our alliance real quick i might have clicked a little bit too far away um oh look there we are yay all right, so I am, I am gonna move where that camp is. I didn't realize I was gonna do this so quickly, but um, I can move my town here, but can't camp here. So I have my new coordinates I'm gonna go to, and I'm gonna use what the game gives me, one advanced teleport. This is the only time I can transfer port to another state without buying a permanent state transport is when you're a brand brand new town but you have to do it within i think the first three four or five days please i don't quote me on that but it, but that's why i do it very quickly so i'm going to use it and i'm going to um, port over there so now i'm in state 20 which is where all of my other accounts are but you see, my town is glowing green. 
um, but I don't have any tags, meaning I don't, I'm not part of an alliance. Now, I know I want to be part of OGR, which is my alliance that I'm part of. So what I'm going to do is click on the fortress, and I'm going to click enter. Now, it shows the commander is Bronk O'Brien. The alliance is uh, OGR. So I'm going to click on that uh, alliance OGR old guys underneath Commander Brian. Okay. And right there it says request to join. So I'm going to click request to join. Most alliances that are set in place have it, have it so that you have to request to join them. And it's not an automatic you are added to the alliance. So you can see I'm still green without any tags. So the vice chancellors and the chancellor uh, are the only ones that are able to add. So Bronco Brian, Don, Donovan Crazy, and Lemon Pie are the only ones that will be able to add me into the alliance. Even if we had ministers set up, um, the, uh, the leaders in the group have certain abilities that they can do. So... Uh, this is this is what I'm waiting for. So whenever I click on the alliance tab at the bottom, I I haven't joined an alliance yet, but I can see all the different alliances that are available. Hey, look at that! That's actually my other alliance, Lily JD. <laughs> I could I could uh, go check it out if I wanted to. Uh, I could request join. We have 24 people. Over there. That's funny. All right. So now that I've moved over, I've changed my town name. I've changed my um, account name. I'm going to go back in and continue building. So I'm going to collect those. Um, as you can see, these buildings, the exchange, you have to have a town center level 8. The... Um, uh, battle thing that you can do which i i forgot what it's called you have to be town center level eight and you can't do this until your town symbol a center level 15. um but let's continue to build since i'm going to focus this being a wood farm i'm going to build a lot of wood logging camp build build free a logging camp build. When you're going through the motions on these, uh, it's very important that you're clicking the right one. Since these are all logging camps, build, build. Um, I'm going to move um, the quarry, the mine, and the food station over here to this section, but I'm, I'm going to wait till I get some gold before I do that, but I want to start producing, um, and so I'm going to build my farm. I'm going to build my hyper farm. Free. Build. Free. Build. Free. So all of these spaces are going to be logs because I am focused on building a hyper farm for, oops, I forgot to set, select a log. Uh, I'm going to build a hyper farm for wood. Uh, build, oh, I forgot to click free. Build, free. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm getting bounty for building a certain amount. Um, I'm never going to reach some of the goals that the, <coughs> excuse me, the, the game has set for uh, certain uh, different ones because I don't want to build a farm. I want to build a log free. Uh, so, like, I won't be able to reach the capacity for food or um, uh, stone or iron because I am focused on doing wood. So you're going to have those prompts in your game to build three more of this, to train more troops, to do this, do that. 
uh, but it's not something that you focus on when you're building high perform. All right, build. I keep skipping the free button. <laughs> All right, logging camps. So it is tedious when you're building um, a new one, but you can already see my force going up as well. Um, so I'm almost done building all of my log camps. <laughs> 40 buildings, yay! So there we get more gold. All right, free. Okay. All right, so let's see. What other required um, towns do I need? So, I don't really need a church. I don't really need a monument. Because um, I have learned that I don't need the church to grow. I don't need the monument to grow. Um, but let's go ahead and build them anyways. And we're going to build a monument too. All right. I know that we're going to need to build uh, the jail, but we haven't met the requirements yet. All right, so you know you can you can do that, uh, but I I'm probably not going to build uh, uh, um, a jail. Uh, I'm going to build more cabins because when I have a hyper farm, I want to make sure that I'm building. Uh, are growing silver as well. And so I'm just going to build cabins and all of these other ones. I go too fast sometimes and the game can't catch up with me. All right. So it is a tedious process when you start a new, a new town. Okay. But... In the long run, once you get going, it is worth it. I'm kind of hoping that they add me to the Alliance so we can start seeing the benefits of being part of an Alliance. Cabin build, most likely, even though I've requested to be part of uh, the Alliance, there might be pop-ups to join another Alliance. So just be aware that that is a possibility. Um, build, 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 build. All right. So I am completely full on building my new town. Now I just have to start upgrading building okay. up we're gonna need more gold we'll get that later all right so that is building a new town um when you are upgrading look at all these ones it's so weird to see so many little ones uh it's really easy to upgrade um, you just keep upgrading until it just takes time. Um, and then you, you're constantly growing your, your town and you're going to see the benefits of your hyper farms and, and you're going to really enjoy it. You're going to enjoy, uh, seeing the benefits of having all of these great, uh, resources that you don't have to gather. Um, it does take a little bit longer to grow um, because you're growing them from nothing um, than gathering because gathering, you know. But the best way to get resources is to hit dead towns. Uh, unfortunately, that's not an option in some um, states because there are so many big players that are on the hunt all the time. And you could get zeroed out. So I choose to have these. My sheriff has gained skills, so let's level up. Another part of the tutorial. 
<clears throat> I was waiting for another tutorial to start. You can allocate your skill points to any sector you want, so give it a try. All right, so I'm just going to max assign, X out, food production, max assign. And then I'm going to go to the next tab, Sheriff Attack, max assign. All right. I'm going to keep upgrading all of these. I like to do it kind of in a zigzag pattern. It's uh, kind of fun. Uh, it brings me a sense of uh, peace whenever I'm upgrading quickly like this. It's, uh, it also gives a sense of accomplishment, even though this has no value in real life. I feel a sense of accomplishment in growing these hyper farms to not only help myself, but also help my, f my fellow Alliance members. All right. So, uh, I am going to upgrade all of these till they're not ones. And then I will end the video and start another video to show you how to link your email to... Uh, your account, okay? All right. I will edit out sections of this video that is not applicable, so there will probably be a gap where those are. All right. I know some of these videos are boring whenever I'm just going through the motions, but it is very beneficial to be able to go back and see and not have to build a town of your own the benefits of this i'm probably going to refer back to this because uh i just noticed that there's some things that she says that i'm like oh i forgot about that so that's kind of good all right another thing that i'm going to do before i end the video is uh, take my troops down when you first start a town they give you a hundred of each troop so I have to actually dismiss some of my troops. Um, I have done this through trial and error. Uh, my very first account outside of Knitter was actually not Georgie. It was um, KG uh, Point, which was originally called Needles. And uh, I might change the names back, but I don't know. Um, let's see which other ones are one. Command Center, upgrade, free, Embassy, upgrade, free, um, Research, upgrade, free, alright, so everything, I'm not going to worry about the monument, the church, or the, um, no, let's do the Sentry Station as well, free, alright, um, I, I dismiss the troops because I only need, um, uh, several uh, troops. I don't want them to continually be eating the food that's being made. So uh, when you dismiss troops, you go in to the actual troop. All right, this the Pistler has 110. So what I'm going to do is click 109 because I just want one troop uh, and then I'm going to dismiss it. Are you sure we want to dismiss the troops? Yes. And then I'm going to go to Skirmisher. That had 100. So I'm just going to put 99. Dismiss. Okay. Then Horseman. I'm going to do 104. And then Dismiss. And uh, eventually I'm going to... Uh, currently right now, let's look at the overview. Excuse me. Not the overview. The information tab. Right now I only have one March queue. So I'm only going to be able to send out one March but, like I said earlier, you won't be able to transport anything out until um, level 10, town center level 10, um, when your marketplace is level 10. So, you don't even have to worry about transporting any of your resources out until you are level 10. But, that's what I do whenever I start my farms. I have already had it set up. I will town edit, switch things around when I get gold, but... It will, it will be in a little bit, and I will come back and do uh, um, another video whenever I get, get that upgraded a little bit more, and you can see 
um, when I switch it around to make it all symmetrical in my mind of how I want it to look. All right. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. And once again, no negative comments because I will delete them and uh, have a great day. Thanks. Bye, guys.